there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With even more exclusive content, with over 150 channels in your vehicle, including the widest, deepest variety of music, ad-free. Root for your team. Get news. Listen to whatever makes you laugh. And hear all about your favorite stars. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels filled with music and enjoy a favorite shows with Sirius XM Video. Thousands of hours of shows and performances on demand. What you love is on now. So if your business is in one part of the country or those parts of the country where radar detection is permitted, then you know just how important this category is. And today we're talking about probably the biggest subcategory of radar detection, which is, of course, the dash mount variety. We've got Cobra Escort in the house today and their product expert, Joe Sherbondi, joining us. So this is the one you don't want to miss. This is CMA Showcase presented by Sirius XM, Cobra and Escort. And it starts now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in on this Monday for CMA Showcase presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Now on this showcase, we've just finished talking about source units and we've gone through a whole bunch of different categories, but this one is a particular one. Now I'm the first to admit, I'm growing up in a part of the country that radar detectors weren't allowed. Um, I did not have a lot of information or insight into this category. So it's been a real educational process for me to understand the different variety of product that's available in the market, the challenges that these products meet, and the business of Selling radar. So today we're definitely going to dive a little bit deeper down that rabbit hole um, with a brand that obviously uh, is has been there from the very beginning. It's one of the the legacy brands within this market as far as radar detection goes, and that is of course Cedar Electronics, which makes both Cobra and Escort. So we're talking about these type of products in Canada. Well, we're going to invite their their Canadian distributor to the table, and today we've got with us for the very first time, might I say, on CMA Networks, it's their director of product development from Auto Mobility, Mr. Michael Rosenberg. How are you? Hey, Thanks Mike. How are you? Today. I'm very, very happy to finally have you on, sir. It's about time. Thanks for asking. It's, it's definitely about time. So we're talking about. <laughs> You know, radar detectors, admittedly, I'm not the expert at it at all. So I'm very curious to learn about this uh, category sure. as well. I know that you are quite specialized in it. You've been dealing in this part of the business for quite some time. So can you tell our, 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 our viewership just how important is the dash mount radar detection category as far as Canadian dealers, where it applies? Right, sure. Uh, it's a great question. And, and particularly where it applies is in terms of region anyways, is the Western part of Canada where it's fully legal to both own and use these kinds of devices. So for the novice first timer to the seasoned tech savvy road warrior, this category of products is always in high demand and provides a great revenue for our dealers. It, you know, consumers, they want gear that's easy to use and reliably gives a high level of security and awareness while out on the roads, not only in areas that are heavily enforced by police radar, but also the constant ins and outs of a potentially hazardous road work. And these devices alert to all kinds of surrounding threats. So any dealer not selling into this category is definitely leaving money on the table. Absolutely. So I did not know that it was just beyond simple radar detection. There's a lot of added features that have been kind of- Yeah, you know, well, you know, it picks up all different signals. So you have those emergency signs off to the side of, of the road when you're passing through construction zones. And these devices alert to, uh, uh, in advance, telling you that there's possible threats ahead, not just uh, police threats. Very interesting, very interesting. So yeah. um, where do the products that we'll be discussing today or where Joe will be really presenting today fall as far as the, the, the performance and the hierarchy of all these type of products and brands? Sure, so we're gonna look at a, a wide range of products uh, from the entry level for the beginners all the way up to the Mac Daddy Elite with all the bells and whistles for the experienced drivers who demand the very best in performance and, and latest technology. You know, Escort and Cobra, they've been making some of the best radar detectors for over 40 years. 
things. In fact, you'll always find escort at the top of any must have list for any serious enthusiast. So I'm excited for my colleague, Joe, to wow your audience today with the latest and greatest. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I'm very excited as well. Um, and to prep the audience and, uh, you know, kind of whet their appetite, we've got a video to show some of the newest product from Escort. And when we come back, we'll have Joe Sherbani in the studio with us. Don't go away. Great. Reveal the road ahead with the Escort MaxCam 360C. Gain unprecedented awareness of your drive with a single device that combines a high performance radar detector, advanced dash cam, and the Drive Smarter app to create Escort's first ever complete driver alert system. The premium radar detector offers exceptional detection range, outstanding false alert filtering, so you can focus on the right alerts at the right time, and 360 degree awareness, so you always know what's happening around you. The QHD dash cam captures 78% more pixels with 1440p resolution, a Sony Starvis sensor offers excellent low-light performance. And the cloud video management allows you to store, share and edit footage anywhere. Plus, advanced safety and security features like emergency mayday alert, incident reports and parking mode help ensure that you and your vehicle remain protected. The Escort Max Cam 360C. Reveal the road ahead with a complete driver alert system engineered for excellence. Very exciting and certainly more advanced than I would have ever imagined, but we're going to learn all about it, Michael. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and bring in our product expert for the day? He is the big daddy of the uh, when it comes to this because his title is the, the director of the radar category over at Escort. His name is Joe Sherbani from Cedar Electronics. Welcome to the studio, Joe. Hey Ben, thank you for having me. I appreciate it, Michael. Thank you for inviting me on. Some uh, some exciting stuff we're going to learn about today for sure. I mean, you're the man in charge. You're the, you're the, in charge of that category of product. So when it comes to dash mount radar detection, can we safely say that Escort kind of basically created the category? Yeah, we uh, we harken back to the days in the late '70s, Ben. Uh, Cincinnati Microwave was really the start of everything, and. Um, you know, over the years, uh, uh, let's just say some changes with uh, ownership and whatnot evolved uh, eventually into the Escort brand. And uh, about uh, seven years ago, I guess, call it, um, you know, basically uh, uh, we, we merged together the Cobra and Escort brands together. But, uh, you know, uh, Escort and Beltronics had a long partnership and uh, now all that's pretty much under one roof with Cedar Electronics. All right, so that certainly clarifies the uh, the the names, you know, for those that may not be familiar with the, I guess, the layout of who's uh, who the manufacturers are and the brand. So this is one big happy family of different brands. Of course, we're talking about a ton of products. So um, unfortunately, I don't think we have the time to cover every SKU in your catalog today, Joe. But can you give our viewers a brief uh, outline of what we will be covering today? Yeah, well, as, as Michael mentioned earlier, we're gonna we're gonna talk about. Uh, Everything that we basically have for the Cobra product lineup uh, in terms of just entry level price points and what's a good fit for buyer shopping, you know, for value. Uh, really, you'll see that with like your, your college students and whatnot. So folks are looking for a good product at a certain price point. And again, as Michael alluded to uh, the Mac Daddy, uh, which is great. Uh, so we'll be talking quite a bit between like the Redline 360C and our, and our Max Camp 360C. So some uh, great recent uh, additions to the product lineup that are just superior products. Amazing, and just from that little video alone, now, I don't know if it's because she has a gorgeous British accent, it makes it sound so alluring, but I'll tell you that back scam, I'm certainly very excited to learn about. Yeah. Uh, well, without further ado, why don't Michael and I get out of your way, we'll set you up with the stage, get your presentation up and we'll get into learning mode, as we say, uh, for a presentation on these products today, Joe. Outstanding, thank you. Well, everybody, again, thank you for uh, for being on and uh, joining us. And uh, we have some great information to talk through with you today uh, about our products. And um, I thought I'd kick it off a little bit uh, and just um, give you a little background. Uh, a lot of times people still commonly refer to us as Escort, and we are. Uh, but our parent company is Cedar Electronics. Uh, that actually stands for Consumer Electronics and Radar. That's, that's where the name Cedar came from. And, uh, you know, we've got... Um, uh, products uh, support from, uh, you know, North America through, um, um, 
you know, through Europe and Asia. Um, the, the company, as I mentioned, manages both the Escort and Cobra brands. Um, we produce multiple product categories, radar, power, communication, dash cameras, and apps. And uh, we've been partnered with uh, Automobility now for uh, close to about 17 years. Um, so, um, you know, basically, uh, we, we uh, started off with uh, the Beltronics brand and now you know, Automobility is carrying both Escort and, and uh, Cobra brands with us. So, um, let me uh, go ahead and switch to the next slide. And, and Ben, I apologize. I, I think with just our technical challenges here, I think I loaded a, an older presentation on for this. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do a quick swap or not uh, is, a, is a live fire, just keep going with it. But, um, you know, one of the things that uh, uh, with with uh, radar um, that uh, uh, Michael had mentioned earlier. So um, the, the three Western provinces for Canada uh, radar is considered legal. And uh, so basically you're allowed to use it for detection purposes. And, and even in the United States, uh, it's considered legal everywhere with, with the exception of Virginia and DC. And, and in our case, some, some states have uh, uh, legal uh, precedents set in terms of where you can place a radar detector up on the windshield, such as uh, California. Uh, laser detection in the same context is, is also legal in, uh, in every, uh, uh, state, uh, again, with the exception of Virginia and DC, but the real, the real crux of this is laser jamming is, is real, where, um, uh, there's, there's uh, state by state or province by province, uh, legal, uh, acceptance, if you will. And again, in the, the, uh, the three Western provinces, uh, that you're looking at, uh, for Canada, that's where, um, where laser is considered legal. So um, I'd, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, radar and laser. Um, so, you know, really it's uh, radar is electromagnetic waves. Uh, it operates in three different bands in, in the microwave frequencies. And so you have X band, K band and, and KA. And X band is, is uh, an older technology, uh, as I tell people, basically back in the the, the late 70s and early 80s, uh, the police would have what looked like a flying saucer on top of the car emitting that. Uh, well, that, that certainly uh, shrunk a lot over the years. And so typically now what you have is K band and KA band. And um, with, with KA band in particular, you have very accurate, very hyper focused frequencies. And so with your radar detector, when you see these three frequencies uh, operating, you know that's guaranteed. That's that's the police basically that uh, you're picking up. K band can be a little more cluttered. You know, um, Ben, we we typically have stuff like uh, automated doors at your grocery stores, your banks. Uh, those those use uh, radar, K band radar. But uh, additionally, your car, uh, your collision avoidance uh, systems on your car emit it. So. Our challenge as a manufacturer is, is always trying to make it the most quiet ride possible for you. And, and how do we filter some of those things out? And in addition to those, those frequency bands we just talked about, uh, you also have MRCD and MRCT. Hey, Joe, I'm going to yeah. ask you to pause for a second. I know that there was a slide that you wanted to show back there. I want to I stop. I want to get across the audience understands because I think it's an important point. I want to give you the opportunity to uh, put load up the, the proper or the more updated presentation so we can see that slide, if that's okay yeah, with thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. Yeah, no it. problem. Let's go ahead and do that. And while you're on that, I mean, and I'm sure you can multitask here, but I hear complaints of, you know, passing by the pharmacy and getting a bong or getting a... Is, is that what you're referring to when it comes to the, uh, the automatic doors? Is that why they're getting, you know, like, the signal interference or whatever it is called? Yeah, precisely. That You're basically picking up, um, you know, again, it's it's the, the, uh, the K-band uh frequency that you're getting from uh from those grocery stores and from um you know again you're, you're picking it up even with with vehicles these days it's it's um uh it's one of those things that that again when when we're creating product we're trying to make sure that when you do get alerts to threats mm -hmm. uh, that that you genuinely feel that you're picking up uh you know that knowing it's it's for the most part police um, good. So, yeah, so basically, and, and as you can imagine, in, in cities like I live in Chicago, um, you know, it's uh, it, it can be quite, uh, quite challenging for us sometimes. Um, and, you know, because traffic lights with even with MRCD and MRCT, you're picking things up. So 
I think we're we're on the correct slide at this point in time, and, and appreciate. Uh, no worries. Letting me navigate through that. We're live. Things happen. We can get we can get them fixed because we want okay. to make sure the uh, the viewers get the right information. There you okay. go. Okay. So so as we were talking about just closing off the last slide before with Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia, these are the three provinces where radar detection is considered legal, um, and jamming is as well. So uh, and that's an important thing because. Um, you know, is and I'll talk a little bit here on this next slide we're going to get into, but the, but there is a big difference. Let's say as you look at the portable detectors and some of the accessories we have out there in terms of your capability of detecting and jamming. So let me go ahead and switch over this back to this slide where we're at. So, um, you know, with with uh, the other thing that we we do uh, look for is MRCD and MRCT, and and that also uses K band, uh, but the difference is is as opposed to having a continuous frequency coming at you, it's multiple frequencies. And, and I get asked a lot of times, hey, is one of these mobile, uh, is the other fixed? They're actually the same product uh, in this case. They just basically use different frequency ranges respectively. So in this case, when, when you're using that term MRCD or MRCT, uh, you either have it fixed or you have, you have it mobile, but one does not delineate mobile versus fixed. Now, with that, uh, you have the ability to use detection versus our Defender database. And as Michael was alluding to earlier, uh, we do have multiple functionalities here with these detectors that are not just limited to the actual physical detection. We have on our detectors what we call the Defender database. And that alerts drivers to traffic light cameras or speed cameras uh, in their respective areas. Um, so that you have those alerts in addition to the fact of picking up radar detection. And in this particular case, let's say here in the United States, speed cameras are traditionally used for MRCD and MRCT. So drivers have the option um, to just use the Defender database and have that detection mode turned off. Let's say if you're driving again in a city like Chicago where there's speed cameras every few blocks. And so that minimizes the amount of MRCD alerts you may get. But it is very handy if you're going to be driving uh, in, in from one, let's say, one city to the next, where you might be dealing with the, the mobile applications. So, in the efforts to to make our product quieter and more reliable uh, in terms of the threats, uh, really, you know, the the boy who crawl, called wolf syndrome, if you will, we've taken a number of steps to help reduce those false alerts. So, uh, we have software and hardware measures that we've put into our detectors that help minimize uh, colli uh, collision, collision avoidance systems. Um, and, you know, there's other techniques that we use where we isolate frequencies, that's called a K-notch filter. And in addition to that, Ben, as you were talking a little bit about the, uh, the grocery stores and the banks, uh, we use uh, something called AutoLearn. And that uses GPS combined with picking up uh, the radar signal and when you pass by a location three times, our detectors learn that, and then that will mute it uh, for future passes. In addition to that, we also have uh, four different sensitivity modes that we have on our detectors, uh, auto mode, auto locate, auto no X, and highway. And these vary basically in terms of how much they may or may not filter out. Auto mode is pretty much set in the average. And as I tell people, basically, when you're going below about 20 miles per hour, what that does is that'll mute uh, K-band alerts that you have. So as you're driving locally someplace, that really should help minimize any of those, those alerts that you get. And as you begin to accelerate and go up to 55 to 65 miles per hour, what you'll see is, is a ramp up basically of the sensitivity. And, and if you can imagine, we're opening up that radar antenna further and further out to, to pick up signals further away. With uh, auto locate, it has particular filtering around uh, locate signals. And again, that's all towards the effort of minimizing some of the false alerts that you get. Um, X-band here in the United States is typically used in uh, two areas, uh, Ohio, you'll still have some applications for that or New Jersey. So uh, one of the filters that we have for sensitivity is, is again, it, it lowers the K-band uh, sensitivity, but we also eliminate the, the X-band that you might pick up. And then highway mode, you're basically opening that antenna way up. So you're, you're trying to be as sensitive as possible to it. So on the, la the laser side, uh, it's also known as uh, LIDAR. 
sometimes you get asked questions, what does LIDAR stand for? So that's light detection and ranging. Um, and so, you know, basically that's uh, in a near infrared uh, frequency spectrum that you have. And so uh, what I call traditional laser, if you will, is, is uh, going to be, you know, single frequency ranges. And then there's newer types of technologies out there being used, uh, which is called variable pulse rate. And so there's there's several manufacturers of that type of technology. Dragon Eye um, is, is commonly known for that, but no, it's not exclusive to them. So, you know, basically with, um, with those types of technologies, with lasers, I tell people um, with a portable detector by itself, we have the ability to detect. It's important to note that lasers point and click uh, it is highly accurate. So typically, I warn people, if you see that go off on your detectors, they got you at that point in time. Uh, so we do sell additional technology, uh, laser jamming or laser shifting uh, products that, that I'll talk about here with each of the detectors that does jam those signals, basically. And it, it really, as I try to tell people, buys you some time to slow down. So uh, let me move on to the next slide here. And... Um, And we'll talk a little bit about the product lineup, uh, as Michael alluded to earlier. Um, you know, basically we've got our Cobra Rad 380i that that is our opening price point in the Cobra lineup, followed by the Rad 480i. The Rad 480i has been a huge success for us um, in terms of uh, uh, overall volumes that we do annually with that business. And we also have a couple other products out there that uh, Automobility uh, covers, which is the Dual Pro 360 and our Road Scout. On the Escort side, uh, we open up with our Max 3 and a uh, very reliable product built off the, for those of you out there that know the 9500iX, this is really, uh, you know, the next evolution from the 9500iX that we have. And uh, that goes up to our very reliable digital platforms with the Max 360 and the Max 360C. One of the questions I get, what, you know, what does the C stand for? As you're looking at Max 360C, Redline 360C and Max Cam. 360C, <clears throat> and it stands for connected. Uh, any of the units that have the C in the name basically are, have the ability to connect up through Wi-Fi. So um, we commonly these days refer to convergence platforms where we're now integrating uh, radar and dash cameras together. And that's really what the Max camera is. It's, it's the next evolution of that integration. And it leverages a lot of the great technology that we put into the Redline 360C. Um, and you know, I think this will be a good segue as we get into talking about uh, performance and features with our products. I apologize, Ben, I keep hitting the down arrows as though I'm working uh, with a PowerPoint presentation. So let's kick it off with the, uh, the Redline 360C. Um, so this is uh, really the, the next generation Redline product that we introduced a couple of years ago that replaced the Redline EX. And we did a tremendous amount of stuff with, with upgrading this product. Uh, we went into a digital platform. This uses uh, our Blackfin digital signal processor. Uh, the, the range on this detector is phenomenal. It has the same great stealth technology that, um, that a lot of drivers know. So uh, as Michael alluded to, um, you know, Saskatchewan and, and, and East uh, and a lot of those provinces, uh, the red line makes for a great product uh, uh, where it cannot be detected by what's called radar detector detectors. It, uh, it has 360 degrees of coverage. It comes with the auto learn technology that we talked about or the in vehicle technology filter. Again, that's for, for uh, filtering out uh, collision avoidance systems. Another feature that, uh, that that's great with uh, most of our products is all of our, most of our devices, I should say, have Bluetooth technology on them. So you have access to our Drive Smarter app. And, and I'm gonna talk a little bit at the end of the presentation here. Um, we, we are evolving to Drive Smarter. And, uh, and I get a lot of questions around Escort Live and iRadar. It's so really Drive Smarter is that next in the uh, next part of the evolution here with uh, uh, where we're going with apps. And so, um, so you have compatibility with that. And then, you know, with um, with the, the Redline 360C, in addition to that, that great range that you have, the great filtering, we also have some accessories that you can connect up to it. The Harman Spark uh, hotspot from AT&T is 
is a great OBD2 plugin on any vehicle if you want to have Wi-Fi connectivity in your car, if it does not already come with Wi-Fi. Uh, we have third-party integration compatibility with Maestro and with MidCity. And then the accessories that are, uh, that are available to the Redline 360C is the M2 dash camera and the ZR5 and ZW5 laser shifters. So again, as I talked about uh, with the laser shifters, that now empowers you to jam laser signals. And that really, you know, is the, the M2 dash camera did, the M1 and the M2 did great for us. And that really became the, uh, the genesis for, hey, let's integrate the two under one, one housing and uh, try to create a smaller footprint. Um, and that's what we did with the MaxCam 360C. So really, uh, same 360 degrees of coverage with this radar detector. Um, when, when I'm asked about the range, the range is, is phenomenal. And, and it's just a step below where you're at with the red line. So this also uses that Blackfin DSP. Uh, the same uh, algorithms and hardware that we use for creating um, uh, uh, the um, filtering is, is put into the MaxCam. But now you've got this great high definition dash camera in there. And so this is a 1440p resolution dash camera. Uh, it's it's great for uh, high resolution looking at license plates, night vision, uh, nice wide screen. So, so this has been a phenomenal addition to the product lineup. And we're going to, I think, uh, talk a little bit about this on Michael's side as we get to the end of the presentation and do a little bit of uh, show and tell. But uh, just like the Redline 360C, this is also compatible with the Maestro and MidCity integration and also works with the ZR5 and ZW5 laser shifters. So uh, really bringing up the lineup at, uh, with the Escort side is the Max 360C. I call it the workhorse. Uh, this product has been out there forever. Great range. Uh, it really, this became the start as we, we started looking at... Um, uh, improving uh, range and reaction times with the digital signal processing. Uh, this is also connected car compatible, so this has Wi-Fi with it. <clears throat> it has, uh, again, the connectivity with the laser shifters, the M2 dash camera. The MAX-3 is uh, is also great range, um, and it's this is not a digital signal processing uh, radar detector, but I will tell you for anybody driving with this and, you know, if you've compared it in the past with the 9500 IX or even with the MAX 360, what you're going to find is that great opening price point on the Escort side um, that really delivers uh, great reaction, great uh, sensitivity for range, and the filtering is phenomenal on this. So, again, all of those elements go into all of the, uh, the Escort products that we have here. Um, on the... Um, the Cobra side, I'm really kind of starting from the top. We've got the Dual Pro 360. And so the Dual Pro is really a, a product with escort engineers uh, working with the, the Cobra product. And so that's where we, this was really one of those first generation products, if you will, on the Cobra side, where we started incorporating more of the escort technology into it. So this has the 360 degrees of uh, uh, detection with it. It also incorporates our, our auto learn technology, our IVT filter. We have our Defender database on this. So again, any of those alerts that you have for traffic light uh, cameras or speed cameras, you're getting alerts right on the detector. Uh, and this is compatible with um, Drive Smarter. Uh, so this, this came out under the iRadar platform and uh, you have the ability to connect up uh, Drive Smarter with this. This will work with laser shifters and it does work with the M2 dash camera. And I just wanna be clear because uh, some, of, some of you may have some questions out there for MRCD and MRCT. Uh, so this is MRCD compatible with, with this particular product. And bringing up uh, really our, our opening price points with Cobra is the RAD 480i and the 380. And so, uh, and I'm going to focus a little more here on the 480i. This is uh, uh, best in class detection range that we have for this. This does come with the, the laser eye. So you do have the ability to detect uh, laser with the, this. It has uh, our, our, what we call next gen IVT filter, but it does have good CAS filtering. 
Um, we do use uh, a digital signal meter on this so that you have the ability to look at signal strength. Uh, it is, uh, it does have Bluetooth on it. So this is compatible with iRadar and it will, and it will be compatible with uh, Drive Smarter. And you have the ability with the sensitivity button on here to um, adjust basically how much filtering you want to do with, uh, with K-band. So again, trying to minimize, let's say some of those false alerts that you may have, uh, you know, depending on if you're driving in suburban or urban areas with, with this detector. And the Cobra 380i is just a great, great uh, entry level price point for anybody trying to get into radar detectors that are, I'll say, budget sensitive. And what I want to do here is close out with uh, the Drive Smarter app. And I apologize to some of you looking at the screen here if it looks a little busy, but I want to talk through a couple things as we, we, we discussed. Um, uh, with Drive Smarter, it is going to be um, eventually replacing Escort Live and iRadar. So we are uh, developing this because we really wanted to get to a point where we weren't operating two separate app platforms, one for Cobra, one for Escort. We wanted to combine everything under one house. And this app has the ability to connect multiple devices to it. So again, you know, if you're working with, uh, let's say, a Redline 360C and you have an M2 dash camera with that, you can have all of that operating from the same app now, uh, as opposed to having different apps, uh, Drive HD, I think, you know, on the camera side. So it, this was really about getting to a point where we consolidated everything. Uh, we've got all of that great data that, that live alerts that you're used to with, with uh, Escort Live. Um, you know, the, which is giving you live threats or the Defender database alerts, all of that's still coming through Drive Smarter. It's just empowered more to do a lot more with, with the capability of it now. So I have a couple slides over or a couple images over here just to show you that, you know, the radar settings, a lot of people traditionally use Escort Live today for, for the radar settings in addition to getting their live threats. That functionality doesn't change at all. So we've ported all of that capability over to the new Drive Smarter app. And I have a couple examples over here where, you know, you're seeing your um, speed camera alerts or you're going to get your live threats. Uh, in addition to that now, what you're seeing is the integration of the dash camera technology with the app. In this particular case, this is a live view. Really, that live view is typically used just to make sure that, you know, you can double check how your camera looks while it's up on the windshield. You're not typically driving with it that way, but but you have the ability to see that view. In addition to that, um, you know, we have, uh, as I talked about, this integration of live alerts and connected vehicle media. Um, you have now with, with your Wi-Fi updates, uh, you actually get alerts now in Drive Smarter when to do updates for your firmware. You have the ability in Drive Smarter to look at all of your videos and, and go back and download those, look at pictures. Um, we have emergency alerts on here. One of my favorite things is uh, parking mode, basically, just like the dash camera. So if you've got a Max Cam or an M2 and somebody bumps your car, you're actually going to get alerted to on your phone now if somebody hits your car. And then I'm, I'm really pl uh, pleased to announce for the first time, uh, we're putting in turn-by-turn -turn navigation with Drive Smarter. So this image over here that you see is, is really about taking... Uh, multiple apps that you might be running like like uh, Google or Apple Maps and getting everything consolidated through one app. So Drive Smarter now has turn by turn navigation with all those great alerts. So um, so I'm really excited about uh, where we're at with uh, with our product lineup overall. I think these are complete solutions uh, as Michael talked about and, and I think we have really something out there for for everybody in terms of uh, features and benefits and their budgets. And so with that, uh, Ben and Michael, Absolutely. I'll turn, turn it back over to you. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you so much for that, Joe. So um, I know that Michael actually has some of the product you covered today actually in, at the studio. Uh, Michael, yeah. if you don't mind setting up maybe the first one, we can get, and we real, what's cool about this is basically what Michael's done, he's taken the box, he's, he's unboxed it so you know what comes in the box. And I'll get Joe to kind of talk through what Mike's showing here. Yeah, so go ahead, Joe. I've got the go ahead, uh, Max Cam. Looking? And the uh, Redline 360. Yeah, so uh, let's let's start off uh, with with the Max Cam. Um, so so this uh, you know basically um, uh, 
this is, as we talked about before, uh, incorporates the dash camera technology in with the uh, radar detection. And so, uh, and uh, Michael, as you're kind of holding that up for the screen here, we also incorporated a rotary knob uh, on the front left-hand side. I love this. This is, uh, I think, so much easier when you're working with uh, your volume control settings on the detector to minimize basically, um, let's say for, for those of you, if you're anything like me, you've got your detector snug up against your windshield. It just makes it easier when you wanna turn up and down the volume on the detector. Uh, we're incorporating the same display that we have with the, the, the other radar products that we've got. Um, so uh, a lot of different functionality, uh, the menu buttons that we have on here are a little easier. So, uh, you know, with the program button on the top right corner that, that uh, near, near Michael's finger, um, as opposed to hitting two different buttons to get into your menus, you now can use that program button and that rotary dial to navigate through uh, your menu settings. So again, uh, we, were, we were looking to try to make this product ultimately easier to use. Uh, and, and Michael, if you flip that around uh, 180 degrees, uh, you can see on the front side of this, there you go. the uh, the dash camera is the small bubble on the left hand. Or I'm sorry, on the on the left hand. Right. Side. You're right. And uh, and then basically you've got the um, the radar antenna bubble that uh, you're used to seeing on the front. Uh, we we call the 360 degree detectors a lot of times the double bubble, if you will, but uh, for for the front and rear coverage on it. But, um, you know, it, it uses the easy mag mount uh, co connector. So the same magnetic mount that uh, Michael has on the red line fits this. So if you're swapping these in between different vehicles, it's really nice for that feature. And um, yeah, and, I, and I'd say that, that that particular mounting system has, has garnered a lot of uh, great reviews from uh, uh, our users out there. So, uh, uh, it, you know, and, and you're, you're touching the, the, the suction cup on that, Michael, and a lot of people, a lot of people ask me, hey, is that, do you use adhesive material for it? It is, it, it feels really sticky, but it is purely just uh, rubber material. And uh, just one quick tip for folks out there, if that does get dirty, let's say if you're taking it on and off windshields, a little bit of soap and water and air dry it, and that's yep. good as new. Question for you, Michael. The, um, I imagine this comes with a lighter plug uh, for power? Absolutely. And you get your smart cord that comes with it. Is, this, is, is there a hardwire option available for this kit? There is. You can get an optional uh, cable that will uh, connect right up to the fuse box of the car so it's connected all the time and you don't need to, to use up your 12 volt socket. Right, but so that, all, that would also. I was curious how would the security part work for the part once your car is parked if, uh, if it's not hardwired? Does that work also with the lighter plug, that feature that you were talking about? You're talking in the parking mode? You're yeah, talking parking, parking mode. mode for the yeah. dash cam. Okay, yeah, so basically, uh, if it kicks on the, 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 the car's power, uh, what we do is we actually connect up with the vehicle Wi-Fi, if it has Wi-Fi. So there's a period of time in between uh, when that power kicks into the dash camera. Uh, we connect with the Wi-Fi, we send the alert, uh, and then it powers everything back down afterwards. Very nice. That is a very so for, so for parking mode, you would need to have it hardwired to the car because yeah. not all cars have constant power going to the uh, exactly why I was asking the, the question. Socket. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And um, I mean, that's just all in one, you, isn't it? You have your, your micro yeah. SD card slot right on the side. What's the max on the, on the SD card? Is there a max? You, you know, uh, it comes standard with uh, 16. Okay. And um, that goes up to, I want to say, 64. And uh, maybe in our Q and A section and later, uh, there there are types of SD cards. So there are specific types of SD cards, even though that's sixty four that uh, that you'd have to have if you're going to go that high. Okay, um, Michael, did you have another product you wanted to show? Yeah. So the other product is the Redline three hundred and sixty, which All is right. right now the hottest selling unit that we can never get enough of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get that full screen and get Joe to talk us through this red line unit. Yeah, uh, so I, I absolutely love this product. And, and this is, uh, I think, had, had phenomenal reviews from, from anybody out there that's, a, I'll call it driving enthusiast, Ben. Um, the, 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 the range on this is outstanding. Um, the quietness, um, it's, it really, you know, we were so excited when we decided, hey, Let's create something new, and we want to keep it in the spirit of the red line. 
uh, product lineup, which is stealth. Um, you know, we, we can truly jam right to the gun with radar detector detectors with this product. Um, and, and so I tell people, especially in those states where uh, it's not considered legal that, that you can drive with absolute confidence with this product that nobody will see this electronically in your vehicle if you have mm -hmm. it on there. Mm -hmm. um, but you well, know, that's like the buster buster feature. Pardon me? We call it the buster buster. Like yes. Bust the, yeah, yes, gotcha. yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's a phenomenal product. A lot of the same things we just talked about with the Max Cam. Um, and, and what with the digital signal processing on here, I mean, it just gives you clean reads. Uh, great. Reads. I love that there's ESP in your radar detector. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, the analogy a lot of times I use when, when people talk about, you know, like the red, the, the Max 3, for example, that doesn't mm -hmm. have ESP or even older technologies. It's like comparing a, a, a tube TV to, you know, a 4K high def. You know, that's really what DSP does. It's, the sweep rate significantly Hello. faster, Hello. the data processing is faster. So it just gives you really clean data. Um, so, you know, what, what of, are, is there a difference between the processors between these two units or are they using the no, same? No, they unit? actually both use, they both use the DSP. Uh, there are additional technologies that we have on the red line that has, that, that provides it with that extra range, let's say that the Max Cam doesn't have, but they're pretty close in the scheme of things. I, that much I'll tell you. How do you break it down, Michael? When you're looking between those two units, how do you break it down for a customer? Well, they're both they're both high tier. I mean, if any customer that's also looking for a dash cam, mm. I mean, it's 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 a natural progression just to go to the Max Cam 360 because they already want they're already in your shop looking for the best of the best in terms of radar detection, and whether they have a dash cam on their windshield or not, it's a, another product category that we're big into that you want to push them onto as well. So here it takes up a lot less space on the windshield by having one device instead of two. No kidding. So it, it's just a natural progression. Anybody looking for a high-end radar, we, we try as much as possible, or at least our dealers will try and Dave will tell you that they, they try and step up to the Max Cam 360. So just, just to make a, a minimal appearance on the windshield. I like how you can kind of drive how you can arrive to the 360 by either a customer coming in through a dash cam or through a radar detector but you can arrive to the same place with that one unit yeah. that kind of covers the faces um yeah. gentlemen that was a great presentation learned a lot now we have a special guest i'm going to bring on to kind of pick his brain on the business of radar detection sales from a retailer standpoint and after that we'll come back together and do a quick round table and, uh, and discuss this category how about that awesome all right thanks guys so that was uh, both Joe from Cedar Electronics as well as Michael Rosenberg from Automob. And now we're going to go out west a little bit to our good friends over at JB's Power Center. No stranger to the CMA Network's platform. His name is Dave McLean, and he's the 12-volt specialist at JB's. Let's bring him in. What's going on, Mr. McLean? No, we're talking radar. It's exciting. I like I this. This is a very... I don't even know how I could bold and underline this enough. Very important category, especially Very in your neck important. of the woods. Absolutely. Of up in E-Town, Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, and Alberta, man, Alberta is an interesting place. So we're going to talk about that today. So let's, uh, how about we set the stage by saying, how important is this category for JB's power center? Uh, it's our top three in 12 volt for sure. Uh, you know, it's it's right at the top at this time of year. Uh, you know, going through the summer months when we're, you know, inundated with construction and uh, we got our go fast cars out. Um, it's that time of year to stay protected. You know, it's uh, no fun being pulled over midday. Uh, it can wreck the fun uh, for sure with such short seasons for getting out on the road uh, in our in our demographic. And then, of course, having all the threats from all the different angles, whether we're in the city or we're out on the highways, uh, those threats change constantly. And uh, we want to stay protected. It's uh, it's an important category to be in. Um, you know, we've had 30 plus years of experience in radar. We've seen it, you know, come from the Cincinnati microwave right up to escort today. And uh, we couldn't be prouder to put it in the showcase. And, and, and it's a pretty sexy packaging. I might add seeing that all laid out in front of you there. Um, so when it comes to the consumer, you know, you're on the sales floor, customers coming to you. What are some of the most important features that customers are either asking for or don't know that they need until you tell them? You know, as much as it's features, it's brand recognition. It's trust. Um, this is a protection product. You have to trust it. Um, there's no point in buying a radar detector you don't trust. Uh, and people trust these brands. Uh, they know Cobra and they know Escort. So 
when they come in and they're a new customer, they haven't been in the store before, uh, it's an easy gravitation for them to, oh, I know this brand, I can trust them. Um, and when they come to advanced filters and GPS and accessories, they know they're going to get a top-notch product. Uh, they know they're going to get support in the product going forward. Um, they know that, hey, if I break a suction cup, you've got those parts. Hey, what if I've got a secondary car? Can I move that radar detector between two cars? Uh, and that's what's so great about dash mount is that you can buy one radar detector and any vehicle you're in, friends or family, you're going on a trip with some buddies, you're jumping in their vehicle, grab the detector, take it with you. Uh, it's not part of the car. It is something that you can take between different vehicles. And uh, at the price points we're seeing radar these days and the need for some of the more advanced features that some of the top end units have, um, it makes it an easy decision because you can buy two suction cups on day of purchase and you can swap between two cars without moving mounting locations. Uh, so Escort gives us a lot of those things. And like in our demographic with so many speed cameras and so many new laser things coming out, um, you know, updates and advanced filtration is so important to us. And Escort's got us covered there. Before we go there, you mentioned those suction cups. What do you think of those suction cups? You like that concept? Because that's pretty unique the way they've designed that. The silicone ones, they're best on the market. Um, slightly dirty windshield, uh, you know, you, you can't beat them. We, we were so used to the three, the triangle, the three, and you lick them and stick them, and five stick minutes them. later, your detector's on the ground. Yeah. So yeah. Um, huge advanced uh, in, that, in that regard, you know, and, uh, oh, I just lost a piece, but they're magnetic. So, you know, ease of, yeah. ease of use between detectors, you know, and fortunately, it's oh, kind of like a one mount for we just different One mount through all of them. One mount for all of them. So, you know, you get to take advantage of having, you know, a very easy clippable mount, no button to press, no no tabs to bend, um, you know, and like it, it's uh, it comes in the box. So they give you all the best stuff out of the gate. You don't have to buy the best stuff later. And if you need more, they have them. So uh, a great line to have, great accessory lineup. I would definitely um, recommend dealers show that too, like in the showroom. Like absolutely. You, show the customer. you know, and something they didn't show on the smart cord, uh, they don't take away your ability to make other connections. So they even offer a high voltage USB charger on their cord, which has no use for them, but has absolutely use for the consumer that's losing their charging port for their phone. Very nice. Thank you for yeah. pointing that out. Now you you dropped, I mean, you talked about it a little bit. I kind of mentioned it. Uh, Edmonton, unique landscape when it comes to this kind of stuff. What are some of the challenges that, you know, the consumers are facing and how do these products best address them? You think you, you started touching on that. I want you to go a little bit deeper. Yeah, we have multiple generations of the same stuff. So being in Edmonton, we don't have one kind of dash cam or one kind of intersection camera. We probably have two or three. Um, we're dealing with, you know, what we call radar bots. These are little boxes. They just kind of drop off wherever they're remotely controlled. Uh, okay. We've got, you know, uh, overpass security, basically. So uh, on our ring road, we have uh, cars parked on the overpasses doing photo radar. Uh, and those are threats that are hard to locate uh, because they're not usually on the road surface. They're above us or they're below us or they're behind something. Uh, it makes it very hard to detect. So the GPS features in these uh, make a huge difference for us in Edmonton uh, because not all the radar we're using are radar based. Some of them are camera based and uh, the detectors don't detect that stuff. So uh, GPS is really important. It's, uh, it's becoming more and more prevalent, not only for speed, but for noise. Uh, we're getting uh, noise cameras now in Edmonton, so it's based on decibel level, and they take a picture of your car and send you a ticket. Um, those are GPS locations we can mark with a radar detector. So, you know, just like speed, it also lets us know where the threats are for other things, whether it's a school zone. Hey, don't speed up. There's a, there's a school zone ahead because a lot of our school zones now have uh, radar-based radar signs to tell you how fast you're going. Uh, so it's a, it's a no, no questions. You knew how fast you were going when you entered that 30-kilometer-hour zone. Uh, and those radar detectors go off for that. So it's a little bit of a reminder in our busy days that, hey, there's something coming up that's, you know, not of the norm, uh, whether that's our new 40 kilometer hour zones in construction, our 30 kilometer hour zones for school zones. Um, and then those incidental Friday nights, excited to get home, get into the lake, um, leaving the light too quickly, maybe rolling a red light. It's a reminder that these things are around. Uh, and it's really important to remind yourself on those busy, you know, confusing days that you've got that uh, these threats are out there and they can ruin a weekend with a, you know, two to $500 ticket pretty quickly. Yeah, no doubt. And it does sound like quite the hostile environment, might I add. Yeah, we get it from everywhere and we always get the newest stuff. So there's, there's things that are happening in Edmonton all the time that we can't detect and we're learning from. 
And uh, we they were able to give valuable feedback to our, 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 our uh, partners in the industry, especially Cedar Electronics. And, you know, like ask questions that maybe other places aren't asking, like, hey, we saw them out in a laser trap today. It gave us a laser ding and then nothing. And then a pullover. And like we were full jamming. Everything was working. What happened? Like I, we, we barely got a detection or a warning that the system was live and, and operating. And what we find is they're, they're testing things on us. They, they have new tech and they have new guns. Mm -hmm. And we seem to be the place they like to test it. So um, being that we are close to highways, uh, just about 30 minutes in every direction you can get out on a highway in you know, 120 plus kilometers an hour, um, they like to test it here because they know we got lead feet. Because we, we, uh, we measure distance by time, not by distance. You so Albert, you're crazy uh, Albertans, you. Yeah, I was crazy Albertans. <laughs> you know, it's that, uh, oh, that's a three hour drive to Calgary. I can do it in two. So, yeah. you know, that happens a lot here. And, uh, you know, we've got, we're on the move a lot and there's lots of distance between places. So it's good to be protected. Well, it's, it sounds not only that is it important to have the right features that for the protection for the customer. So, uh, you know, after talking about these features, after listening to that presentation, why would you recommend um, other dealers sell these specific products for this category? If you're not in radar, it brings new customers in the door. These aren't your normal customers. These aren't the car audio guys. This isn't the performance guy. This isn't the truck accessory guy. This is your mom, your dad, your uncle, your grandparents. These are people that need a reminder that these systems are in place. Um, you know, radar isn't only the police. It's safety equipment. It's current instruction equipment. It's ambulances. And cars are getting quieter. And it's harder to hear an ambulance coming behind you. And when your K-band goes off, you kind of put your feelers on. You start looking in your mirrors like, where is that coming from? Like, I was stationary. Now it's coming at me. Um, and, you know, with a 360 camera, it really lets you know very quickly which direction it's coming from. Is that to is that uh, fire truck coming from the right or the left of the intersection I'm in? Are they behind me or are they in front of me? Um, and that's important, right? So, you know, the other guys alluded to that. These don't just detect for speed. They detect for safety equipment. Um, and that's important. So it brings new customers in. This is a category driven by I've gotten a plethora of tickets in my na on my on my commute. I've gotten two or three photo radars. It's costing me $1,500 a month to drive to work because I'm absent-minded and I forget these things exist. Uh, and we have new people moving to Edmonton all the time. So those new people moving here don't realize how many threats there are. And they just start getting tickets and they get pulled over all the time for just minor infractions, really. And they're starting to see the need to know what's around them. Is this a police officer? Is this a sign? Is it a bot? Is it a red light camera? Is it a stationary speed camera? Is it a laser gun? Like, what are they shooting at me and where is it coming from? Because uh, more than not, when you get pulled over here, it's a surprise. You're like, where were you and how did you catch me? Mm -hmm. Because I had no idea you even existed at this point. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important to stay protected in this environment because it can feel like a little bit of a cash grab for the community. And, uh, you know, we don't want to give them all of our money. We only want to give them a little bit, and uh, this will stop you from having to spend those incidental taxes that uh, end up in your mailbox. Very good. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Dave. Uh, obviously, always a pleasure to have you, and your insight is uh, so significant and relevant. So thank you so much. But don't go away. Uh, I'm going to put you in the back studio so we can shuffle Absolutely. around and get everybody right back in. So don't you dare go away. We'll be right back with you. So, so far, we've gone through a presentation from Joe Shabandi over at Cedar. We've had a little bit of feedback from Michael, which uh, Rosenberg model mob. We're going to bring everybody back in, including with Dave. I've got some questions prepared for everybody. Gentlemen, um, I'm going to start with you, Michael. You know, lots of things I learned today, but I'd like to hear your take on this. You know, what was the most important takeaways from Joe's presentation today? That's great. You know, I, I think he brought up a lot of uh, a lot of great points, a lot of great new technology that, that's coming out. And I, I think it's important for people to realize that the products of today are vastly different from even a few short years ago. I mean, you can get amazing detection range and, and filtering to enjoy a quiet ride with minimal false alerts, which I think was very off-putting for some in the past. You know, Joe uh, alluded to the, the boy that cried wolf syndrome. So in the past, you had a radar detector that would go off way too often, so you just started to ignore it. And then people were off put by getting another radar detector because it was too loud. Well, the products of today are, are very, very different, and it gives you a completely different experience. Very good, very good. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's important because the off-putting part is a real thing. Um, I, I, I remember visiting my cousins in the U.S., and I was surprised that they didn't have a radar detector and i asked them you know you guys are allowed here why wouldn't you because where i was you know, like you michael in montreal we uh, we weren't allowed and uh, they simply said well i have a box of them 
because uh, we've tried two, three different ones, and after a while, I just wanted to throw it in the garbage because it was just They're nonstop. And, and now with the technology, um, I think dealers need to kind of get educated and realize like JBs, this is a very important category. The technology has certainly come a long way and it's now become a very interesting segment. Now, Joseph, uh, you had a chance to, to hear uh, Dave's feedback. I'd like to hear in your uh, words, uh, is it in line with some of the feedback that you've been hearing stateside um, or compared to other regions, in fact? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I guess... Um... Uh, there were a couple things that Dave brought up that I that I thought were great. Um, you know, first, the, the type of audience you're bringing through the door as a retail business, and and how you leverage that. And 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 sometimes, and Dave, maybe you you probably can testify to this firsthand. You get those questions about ways versus a radar detector. Yep. Um, you know, and and a lot of those comparisons. And these are, I think, are great conversations. Frankly speaking, as a salesperson. These are opportunities to take that person who, who feels, let's say, that maybe Waze is the end all be all and, and, and educate them and say, you know, hey, it's not, you know, it's, um, it's only as good as the person in front of you, <laughs> frankly so speaking. I think we've all seen Waze yeah. and how it's used. Um, yeah. There's actually a great sales tool to negate the using of Waze when you show a police officer on TikTok on Waze going, <laughs> that's not me, and he turns yeah, exactly. it off. Um, yeah. We're not talking about a program that the police can be intervolved, interlaced in, whereas they can be in ways. So if that police officer is smart and he's sitting there for the day, he can turn off the location for ways every time it pops up. So this is uh, this negates that. This isn't user based. This is legitimate technology. Yeah, and I and I you know let's face it. I mean, uh, the the big thing whether I consider it something like that or just in general as the audience, but. Uh, distracted driving. I mean, how many yes. of us so often we're on a cell phone talking? Um, and, and maybe you're doing 10 or 15 uh, over over the speed limit. And the, that's why I love these detectors, because wherever you have your volume or visual alerts, because these will flash as well, but I can get that. It'll grab my attention right away and let me know, hey, I'm, I'm doing a certain amount over. Uh, and for people, I'll say that are a little more conservative driving that, that you know, want to go, I'll, I'll say reasonably over, but not too crazy. These are great devices, basically, to kind of help you know, let them catch where they're at with that. And, um, and you have the community sharing with the Drive Smarter and the and the Escort Live app. So it kind of negates the whole purpose, as Dave is saying, to Waze, because you're getting real threats up ahead, not just a threat that maybe is real or, or taken off by the officer or maybe even added on by the officer. Who knows? But you're getting actual correct. live sharing by be, being connected to, to Bluetooth, you're getting all these threats uh, up ahead down the road and, and from other devices that are uploading their, their data to the cloud. Yeah, and I and I um, the other thing Dave brought up, and, and I see one of our one of our folks in our audience here was was uh, talking about Alberta. Um, we actually, just so folks know, we do product testing in Alberta. Um, you know, as as uh, Dave was talking about, uh, there there is always new tech coming out, and, and Alberta seems to be the hotbed for uh, different platforms coming over from uh, from Europe, and so. Uh, yes, we are. We are constantly looking at our firmware. How do we make the, the device quiet? How do we make it recognize newer technologies? Um, so, you know, I want the audience to know that um, this is not something developed exclusively in a lab uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. It is, you know, we, we are reaching out to different drivers around the world that we have as test drivers for us, uh, collecting data and helping us uh, develop new versions of firmware that we try to, you know, keep out, keep our products current. Very cool. Dave, um, I want to give you that opportunity to ask questions. You were there behind stage with me watching this presentation and learning at the same time. What questions might you have for our product specialists in the house with us today? Well, I've got to thank, thank the guys for being so thorough because it was a little hard to come up with something. But being that we're in Edmonton, uh, I get the concern from the consumer all the time is, okay, I'm going to buy this radar detector today. You know, it's a big investment. You know, what, is it, what does it mean in a year from now when they bring out a new gun or we see a new box go up at the next intersection, will I be able to detect that? Will this protect me against that? And uh, we're seeing that with the updates, you know, and uh, my question for Joe is, you know, for a customer that's worried about hardware related problems, um, what's coming from Escort to protect those new, those new categories? Uh, so, so basically, I, I, Dave, I'd say our mission is uh, any of the products, what we've tried to do is develop um, similar antenna platforms uh, as we start looking down the road. 
the max cam, the red line, even the max three. Um, so that when we have new technologies, we talked about the new, new uh, police technology, that it's easier for us then to upgrade via software to make all of those units uh, have the same capability. So in the past, for example, if I developed something for a Max 360C, I developed it for that. Then I still had to get out with like a Max 3 or Redline and, and develop software exclusive to those hardware platforms. Now, let's say we're incorporating uh, the chip technology, if you will, that empowers me that, that if I develop something on the, the Max 360C, I can just blow it across all the units and say, guess what? Now these all have the latest and greatest from RCD or Gatso or whatever, you know, as you're kind of looking at certain technologies out there. So that's that's really our big thing is is um, developing hardware platforms that that really empower that uh, clean sweep with uh, software upgrades in the future. Yeah, cool. And that's really what leads to the trust. I mean, we, yeah. we see it every day with customers coming and asking for the product. So that's great. Right. Michael, you know, just looking ahead, just you know, I'll go around maybe any, any, everybody, anybody who would like to add to this comment. Do, have we uh, discussed every challenge that lies ahead as far as this category is concerned? You know, Dave just brought up something very important. Is there anything else that we'd like to maybe discuss before we go? No, I, I think it's just the dealers need to understand that. Uh, listen, I know our, our Eastern dealers would do anything if they were able to offer these uh, these types of products to their customers. So anybody in the West should really take advantage of the opportunity that they have for this incremental business in this category that's exclusive to the West, which is like unheard of. You know, no, absolutely. At, at the end of the day, listen, radar detectors, it, they're not a license to speed, but it, it gives you a broader view of the road ahead and all the hazards that hide, up, hide, up, hide behind every corner. So you have the opportunity, you have the devices, you have something at every price point, every dealer should offer these to their customers. Very good. Um, Joe, any other challenges that may lie ahead for this category that Cedar obviously has their pulse on? You know, uh, their their uh, detection is is a cat and, cat and mouse game, Ben. Um, and and literally, whether you're talking on the radar side and new technologies, uh, whether you're talking photo you know, detection type of technologies were even on the laser side, right? You know, a few years ago, Dragon Eye became kind of the big thing and people talked about some of the challenges. So really for us, it's it's always trying to be in the forefront of seeing what those things are. Um, it, to Dave's point, you know, can we, can we put detection in there with our existing product? Is this stuff we can incorporate or, you know, how do we get in front for our drivers for the future? So, you know, we're, we're constantly looking at things and, you know, with the app included. I mean, that's really, you know, uh, Michael brought this up earlier, but, you know, our big piece, one of the unique aspects that you have about, um, you know, our product is really the fact that we can combine that with the power of our phone apps. And uh, you can really broaden, let's say, the capability of this technology beyond just the detector itself. Yeah, cool. And Dave, I'll leave you with the last word on this topic. You know what? We're always excited for what's next, where we are. Uh, it's very much technology driven um, and we're constantly seeing the advance and the, the availability of, uh, of new new product for our consumers to try and uh, we're just super impressed with what we're seeing from Escort and Cobra and uh, couldn't be happier to be part of the team getting this in customers hands. Excellent. Well, keep it up. Uh, once again, gentlemen, thank you so much. We're going to say goodbye to Dave McLean from uh, JB's Power Center as well as our product expert Joe Sherbondi from Cedar. Thank you for joining us today, guys. All right. Thank you, thank so you much. Ben. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Michael. Great presentation today. I think you can't be happier than you know all the products that were presented from Joseph, as well as the great testimonial that uh, Dave came on uh, on behalf of JB. So, Michael, yeah, you know, super it, super dealer. We really appreciate everything that he had to say. Absolutely and loyal, Dave, and there's there's many other loyal dealers out there, and, and everybody should be on board. Like I said, this is an opportunity. Everybody should be on. From, from the East Coast. I, I'm East Coast. You're East Coast. Yeah. Man, if you're in the West Coast, you're not doing this category. What are you doing? Seriously. Well, exactly. Wait, like I can't believe you're not taking advantage of it if you're not. But having that said, yeah. let's go up and do the information so that they know. If you're interested in finding more about Cobra and Escort products, they have, a, 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 I guess, a universal website with a different portal. You can go to cedarelectronics.com. Exactly. So you can choose to go down the Cobra path or, or down yeah. the, the Escort or you, path. Very simply, it's cobra.com or it's escortradar.com. Easy to find. 
And yeah. if you're in Canada, in particular Western Canada, and interested in these products, well, get a hold of our friends at Automobility. They have this stuff ready to ship, provide training, support, so on and so forth. And Michael will be more than happy to consult you on how to get you set up. Absolutely. Be our pleasure. Mike, I want to thank you for putting this one together and for uh, coming on to talk to us about Escort and Cobra radar detectors today, man. Well, thanks, thanks for uh, thanks having for us on today. CMA, finally. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. We'll see then. you on the next one. Take care. All right. So, so radar detectors. Man, great business to be in. Lots of technology. Hopefully you learned a little bit, uh, a thing or two about Cobra and Escort ones today. Want to remind you of this amazing contest we've got going on right now. It's called the Ultimate Fab Experience Giveaway. It's in collaboration with Master Tech Expos, Five Axis Innovations, and SiriusXM. We are drawing two lucky winners to win an all-inclusive trip to Master Tech Expo in Mesa, Arizona in 2023. We're talking flights, hotels, food, and the training. We're drawing one winner from the States and one winner from Canada. All goes down right here on CMA Roundtable on November 23rd. There is no cash value. Check it out on cmanetworks.com slash giveaway. And while you are there, of course, check out all the hundreds of videos to choose from, whether you're searching for them by brand or by category, cmanetworks.com is where the 12-volt industry connects. All right. That was a good one. Thanks for tuning in to this CMA Showcase presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Yeah, there's time about today. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left on the radio. Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What?